So before I go into solving this problem, let's go over some of the basics. So we have a variable a, and if we have a line over it, that means not a. So if a was zero, then not a would be one. So if we have not a plus a, one of these will have to be zero and one of these will have to be one. So not a plus a, or any variable for that instance, is going to end up as one. And if we have one times not a, that's going to equal not a. And if we have one times a, we get a. And we also have the fact that not a times a equals zero because one of these has to equal zero and zero times anything equals zero. And we also have plus and multiply. So when we have plus with a line over it, which is not plus, that translates into multiplication. And same thing with multiplication, you change it into plus. So now that we know all of this, let's try to solve this equation. So let's look at the left side first. We have a knot over all of this. So these two knots cancel each other out, this one and this. So this term, a plus b in parentheses, is basically just going to stay the same. So let's rewrite that, a plus b. And I also see that the b has a knot over it. So we also see here that the bar extends over into this term, a times b in parentheses. So since we're multiplying these two terms together, uh, remember, not over a multiplication turns into plus. So we get a plus not b, which is this term, plus, since we have a not over these two. And then we have the not extending over this thing. So the not would go would distribute into the a, so a not, and then a times b. So that would turn into a plus, and then not b. So essentially on the left side here, we have a plus not b plus not a plus not b. Okay, and that's for the left side. So then we have our plus sign, which we can bring down. And now for the right side, I see that these two cancel each other out. So this not a times b is going to be left alone. And then here we'll have not a, because that not is going to come down here. The not is also going to come down to the plus sign, so that's going to be times not b which can also be written like this, not a, not b, and then plus, because the not goes down there. And then we have this term, which we said before is going to stay the same. So this is what we have so far. And I can see here that we have a plus not a. So one of these has to equal zero and one of these has to equal one. So remember we said before that a plus not a equals one. So this can be simplified to just one. And then we have these terms, whoops, these terms left over. So that's plus not b, plus not b, plus not a, not b, plus not a, b. And I can see already that this is going to equal to one because one plus anything is just going to equal one because any of these can result into zero or one, and then one plus zero equals one, and then in Boolean algebra, one plus one equals one as well. But we can also further simplify this if you want to by combining these two. So these two will just combine into not b, so one plus not b plus not a not b plus not a b which is just rewriting all of this here. And then you can factor out a not a. So we'll keep this stuff by itself. So we have one plus not b, and then we factor out the not a here. So plus not a times not b, which is this, plus a b. And that's going to simplify to one. So we have one plus not b, plus not a times one. And again, whatever b and a are, this expression will always equal to one because one plus anything is just going to equal one in Boolean algebra. 